but I want everyone to go into ground because I wanna talk about some of the things that are built into the software that you may see on your computer that I don't have. And I'll tell you why I do or don't. A lot of it's because I have OCD. There, I said it. Okay, so ground plane, couple of things. Um, you can change the colors here. So right now for my grid and my solid ground color is gray. I don't have either of those turned on, or a darker gray, I should say. I don't have either of those turned on. That's why you're not seeing it. What you are seeing is my 3D background color. I can change this to whatever I want it to be. I could change this to red if I wanted to. Not going to, because that hurts my eyes. I'm going back to light gray, but that's where you can change the color of your 3D background here. This 3D grid, I don't like it. I don't like this for, for the most part because I don't like when things don't line up perfectly straight on my grid, it, it drives me crazy. So I just turn it off. If I can't see it, it doesn't bother me. For 2D, if I were to switch to 2D, I could turn off the grid as well. Totally up to you on whether or not you prefer to see a grid. If I wanna make this a solid color, because my solid color was this darker gray, that's why it changed it to that dark gray. Here's the big one I wanna talk about, your axis. You will now see that I have these lines in here for my X, Y, and Z axis. If you wanna see these, by all means, turn them on. I don't particularly care about them, especially not for what we're gonna be doing in this class. So I'm gonna turn them on. But please know this is where you can toggle them. I'm sorry, I'm going to turn them off. Let's just say this is where you can toggle them on and off. And this is where you can kind of change their thickness if you want to see them even more. I do not. So that's it for grid, or I'm sorry, for ground plane. So we're kind of all in the same area here. I also want to talk about this cube over here on the right hand side as it pertains to some navigation things. So this is your navigation cube. This is where you can go to get um, predefined views to help you kind of orient yourself if you're struggling with the 3D navigation. What you see are some gray, well, in my instance, the uh, sides of the cube are gray and my corners are blue. Your sides are fixed perspectives. When you're in a fixed perspective, you cannot navigate anywhere else you would have to click on a blue square in one of the corners to get a different perspective. So just to do this really quickly to kind of explain that, a generic cow, why not? Okay, so here's my cow. If I go to top, I can only look at him in a top-down view. I can rotate around, but I can only see it from the top. If I click on one of these blue squares in the corner, that will take me out of the top down view. And so now I can kind of move around here. If I wanna look at it from the left, I just click on left. So hopefully that helps. Right now I'm underneath. So I click the bottom left. So I'm underneath from the bottom. If I click the top, I come back up to the top. While we're in here, what an interesting symbol I chose. It's, this is great. <laughs> While I'm in here, let's talk about scene navigation mode. Um, when you hover over your symbol or anything that you put into your scene, you're gonna get this circle. If you click inside the circle, what you're doing is you're changing your, essentially your view. You see this red dot here? That's gonna be your pivot or your rotation point. So if I put this up here by his head and then I click outside, I hold down my mouse and click outside, I will rotate around that particular position versus if I move this over here, I will rotate around that position. So that's a couple of things about navigation. Also, when it comes to navigation, if you were not aware, your scroll wheel is a button. If you hold that down and keep it held down and move your mouse, that's how you pan. So that's how you can move things by panning them. Okay, so that covers basically everything that we're going to talk about over the next four weeks. 
So we're going to import one of our images now to speak about our layer manager for the 10th time of 10,000. And then we're going to save. And then we have something to build off of next week. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cow out of here. All I'm going to do is select this said cow and hit delete on my keyboard. And now he's gone.